Hi guys, so it's finally arrived um, my brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, it's come all the way from China. Uh, it's literally arrived about five minutes ago. And this is the unboxing of it. Uh, so my phone is currently taped to a tripod. Um, so let's get cracking. Uh, we'll first take off this little packing slip, or at least try to. See what's inside. So, packing slip. Put a little gift message on it to Jonathan, a little present for you from Jonathan. And the nothing in there apart from the order number. So, opening up the box. MacBook Pro. Now I already have a 13 inch MacBook Pro, it's the 2018 model. Uh, it's currently got 8 gigs of RAM and 2.3 gigahertz uh, Core i5. Um, this is uh, obviously a 2020 MacBook Pro. Um, I did max it out at 32 gigs of RAM. You can see the specification on here, 32 gigs of RAM and it's a Core i7. So let's have a look and let's open it up. There's a nice little pull tab down here. I'll just pull that down. Now, you'll have all seen um, an Apple Mac uh, laptop being. Uh, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably do two parts of the video. I'll probably switch this laptop on um, and then. After I've set it all up, do some speed tests on it and add those to the end of the video. So, pop that there. So the 2018 and 2020 models, the actual design hasn't changed much. Um, there's a new keyboard on this. I'll come back to that in a second. Let's see what else we've got in the box. So we've got our standard charger. USB-C to USB-C cable and in here got some Apple stickers, uh, some warranty information and a welcome to your MacBook Pro guide. I'll just leave that over here. So let's have a look at the MacBook Pro itself. Sealed, it was built to order. So let's just peel that back, take it out. And let's turn it on for the first time by opening the lid. Got the screen protector here, which will just peel off. So we've got the, the design has changed in that we've got uh, these arrow keys are no longer full. Uh, we've got a physical escape key rather than on the touch bar and we've got touch ID as before. But everything else in terms of the layout is exactly the same um, as the earlier MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do now, I'll end the video here and I'll take... To use English um, as the main language, press the return... To use British English as the we'll use the British language, the return but uh, I'll carry on with the video um, once it's all set up and show you guys some speed tests. So go to have a look at the two Macs. Uh, my old one is on the left and my new one is on the right, both running Catalina 15.4. Um, I had originally a 2.3 gigahertz quad core i5, and whilst my new one did, still does have a 2.3 gigahertz quad core, um, it's an i7. Um, the memory um, has increased fourfold from eight gig of RAM all the way up to 32, and it's also a faster set of memory as well.
uh, old MacBook still on the left, new one on the right. I've gone from 256 uh, flash all the way up to one terabyte of flash. So that's going to give me a lot more room to grow. Um, I don't store a lot of documents um, on my computer. It's mainly applications um, and things synced with OneDrive and SharePoint for work purposes. Um, I do run a couple of VMs, so it'll allow me to host more of those um, locally rather than on uh, external storage and we'll see from the speed test later that um, this storage is also faster um, than the other one. Speed tests one of them Geekbench and the other Blackmagic. Um, as you can see that we've got Geekbench on the screen and that's broken down into two elements uh, compute and CPU, CPU being on the top. In the first graphic you can see the comparison between my new MacBook Pro which came out with a, an average score of 4400 and the older one at just over 3700. Um, on the compute once again there's a difference uh, between uh, just over 7500 and 6800 on the older model. Finally, the Blackmagic speed tests. Um, as you can see, we've got the newer MacBook Pro on the right and the 2018 model on the left. Um, there's a dramatic increase in write speed of nearly 2000 megabits a second. Um, the read speed is slightly slower on the new model. Um, I've not noticed any difference, uh, but the write speed is definitely worth upgrading if you are doing things which involve a lot of writing activity. My thoughts on the new 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's a great little machine. The same form factor is something which is ideal for me. Um, I do a bit of traveling to and from the office and to cart a larger machine around really wouldn't have been too easy for me. The new keyboard is nice, but then again, I didn't have any issues with the old uh, keyboard, which was on the 2018 model. It's much faster. Um, I'm able to run virtual machines, screen capture software, and a couple of other applications without an issue. Whereas with my older model, um, it certainly started to slow down, uh, particularly after a few minutes interaction. Uh, that's probably due to the uh, lower amount of RAM. Um, is it worth the money? I think if you use it as your primary work machine, need to run a couple of virtual machines, and generally uh, want to enjoy using nicer hardware, it, it is worth the money. So this is Jonathan Isaacs with another unboxing. Until next time, stay safe and speak to you later.